Well, this is the Bob Hope Airport in Hollywood Burbank, formerly the Hollywood Burbank Airport. It is July 18th, 2012. I'm Dale Black, and I'm showing now the path of the Piper Navajo that we took 43 years ago this very day, which flew right over the tops of these trees. I'm standing in Valhalla Memorial Park, and I've now got the camera focused or looking at the portal of the folded wings, the aviation memorial here, that 43 years ago our airplane crashed into the top of this dome. In fact, uh, here a small airplane, let's take a look. Oh, he's making the left turn out now. Yeah, so that, that's a slightly different uh, path than the one we took. But the shiny part of the dome is right up at the top, five feet from the top, is where our aircraft impacted. Our official NTSB impact speed was 135 miles an hour. That came out in a report two years roughly after the crash uh, that I read. And it showed also that there was no uh, aircraft mechanical malfunctions. The airplane was in good shape, in real good working order, and therefore uh, it was determined that pilot error was the primary factor in causing this airplane crash. That mausoleum is uh, 75 feet tall, 50 by 50 feet wide. Inside are the memorialized remains of usually famous and deceased aviators. Amelia Earhart is interred inside. Let's show you this jet. Now it took off and flew right on top of, right above the portal of the folded wings. That's a perfect example of how this memorial is right in the flight path of runway 15 at the Hollywood Burbank Airport. <laughs> I still call it the Hollywood Burbank Airport. You may be able to see the airplane uh, making a right turn just above the dome. I'm very grateful to God that I'm alive. I credit him and him alone for my survival. It is certainly a miracle that I have been able to walk here from my car today and use my arms and my eyes and just all the things, the injuries that I had and I sustained. I give God the glory and the praise. And uh, my job now is to find out how I can best serve him again this year and be obedient to him and follow his direction for my life. Hopefully helping others learn to have more purpose and passion for living, not only in this world, as I say regularly, but also to prepare for the next world, which is very, very real. Praise the Lord for his love.